I said, darling, you are all I want for sure Darling, you give me everything and more I said, darling, ooh, 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 yeah, girl You know I miss you
guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Gugu I am also known as snare and as Kukukuleti on all my social media platforms feel free to follow me because I really do drop some premium content and that's on period to all my returning subscribers my day ones my VIP gig 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 Thank you so much for coming back for yet another video and if you're new here and you're seeing my face for the first time and you're thinking to yourself who is this gorgeous gorgeous Han <laughs> my name is Gugu I hope you stay I hope you fall in love and I definitely definitely hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of my family welcome to episode 2 of vlogtober guys the first week of vlogtober literally showed me flames so i uploaded a video on a monday first of all the video was supposed to go live on sunday but I, I couldn't make it there was too much to do and then mainly because i have to wait for my husband to have time to put in the panel so i really wanted the, the vlog to go live with the panels in the bedroom and he has his own job so i catch you like on weekends when it's free so uh he could only do it that sunday so he did it for me on sunday and so i couldn't go live on sunday i'm like it's cool i'll go live on monday when i go live on monday youtube is not processing my video i go live the video is blurry the music is all over mess mess like that video was such a mess and then i'm thinking okay youtube will uh, uh convert and then the video will be fine Two hours later it's still the same people are complaining i can't watch it's not loading i just i just deleted it took it down fixed it re-uploaded and i could only go live today which is a wednesday for those of you who are re-watching the vlog again thank you so much for watching and i really really apologize for uh the mess that happened with that vlog okay all right but i'm back this is episode two and today we're going to uh we're going to buy groceries it's the third of october today the fourth the third it's the third of october today um it's month end we usually buy our groceries on the 25th but we are a bit delayed so we're going today after buying groceries i want to go to um pep home i want to storage drawers guys if you could see my pantry it is a mess if you could see my kitchen cupboards my fridge Jay, ever since we moved here i feel like i've been neglecting my kitchen and I've, I've, I've been just stuffing everything in so i feel like um let me dedicate this vlog to doing my pantry to packing everything in, and doing my drawers like make everything look nice and presentable i'm gonna show you how it looks um before i redo it do not judge me it's bad it's it's bad i'm not even gonna lie i'm also not going to hide it it's really really bad um hubby's waiting for me to finish so i think i'm done with my intro just wanted to come on here and say hi how are you i hope you're doing well uh we can continue with the video Since to wait any longer to love you, it 
don't make sense to wait any longer to touch you Cause time keeps slipping, slipping, slipping hey. And the pain is growing, growing, growing I just want you, baby Oh, this camera light is live. So we got eggs. We got like uh, five a dozen eggs. We got two of these because apparently there's a shortage of eggs. And then we bought simp. Um, we bought the big one. Is it how many cages? It is 2.5 cages. My husband loves sem. So I really have to buy it in bulk and then we got pap maize meal uh, and then we got cream mora. also I use this mainly for uh, my creamy samp and then we got cheese uh, I always buy the family pack and it does last us like the whole month so I got the um, mozzarella and uh, cheddar cheese and then I bought potato um, wedges these are also my husband's favorite he loves them so much and then we also got slap chips and then we bought uh, rice I only eat basmati rice lately nothing else and this green one specifically it is so nice and then we got pasta I love making the pasta salad my husband loves it too and then we got these um, whole wheat biscuits for breakfast i bought this and i bought the big pack and i wanted to buy the chicken stock and accidentally took this one in so i'm gonna take it back and exchange i wanted to try and buy like the big pack and see how long it will last me because when i buy the small pack i run out without knowing that i've run out that i've run out and then we got mayonnaise um, and then we got this we bought like seven of these I just put a few here uh, we got um, six six or seven for 70 rands which was really cheap we got Tabasco sauce we got two it was on special I think two for I don't remember the prices okay and then we got Nando's this is my husband's one he loves this one I love Tabasco sauce got aromat got spices got honey um, oil ama sambane potatoes uh, we got acha and I just noticed when we got when we got back that we still have a lot of acha left from last month um, and then we got chips they were also on sale I think seven for 99 rands I'm not sure uh, also got Pringles they're also on sale that's the reason I love going to macro because you can buy things in bulk <laughs> oh it scared me <laughs> it's my uh, GPS you're on the fastest route despite some traffic you will arrive at 10.08 
and then we got um, Jacob's uh, coffee uh, love 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 this also stocked up on uh, juice our favorite thingy in the house is mango but I did pick like a different flavor I took mango and um, uh, fruits and fiber and then I got these I also used this for my creamy spinach not spinach for my creamy semp I've never used this before I want to try it out actually and then we got uh, some spread these are for cleaning my husband's uh, lunch and I, we only took one of this I wonder if it will last um, chicken viennas we don't eat pork in the house uh, we got mince we got beef we got um, lamb and uh, we got uh, more lamb my husband is obsessed with lamb <laughs> we got more lamb we got chicken we're gonna go back and buy more chicken I didn't like the chicken that they had so we just took the quarter legs and I bought new uh, dishwashing cloths and we got obviously tissue we've got the 24 ply we can never you can never have enough tissue in the house and then we also got these um, sponges for cleaning we didn't buy any toiletries because we still have so much left from that kicks event that i went to i don't think we'll be buying toiletries anytime soon so let me make dinner and then go to bed i'm, I'm a bit tired but chicken is quick i'm making chicken stew <laughs> it's raining oh god Oh Lord. Hey guys. Oh, let me switch on the light. I... That's better. Hey guys. So I just came from installing my wig. I'm actually attending an event. I'm late. I'm not going to do my makeup. I think as long as your hair is done, then um, the rest you can wing it. Um, it's currently half past 10 the event starts at 11 so i would need like an hour and or an hour and a half to beat my face but i don't think i look awful however there's one a problem the weather just changed it was <sighs> keep on weather ish <sighs> yeah i know it's an extreme spot um the sun was out in the morning. I wore my. I'm wearing a um, uh, forever new dress. I'm. I'm even carrying this summery. Sana ipila bag. I'm even carrying this summery bag. Like I'm wearing. Like it's such a chilled look. Uh, I'm attending a um, sobe event. Sobe is turning uh, 18, so I'm attending their birthday lunch. Uh, I'm not changing. I'm not changing my dress. I'll just take a jacket. I'm sure it's in it's indoors, and then I'm, I'm not changing. Cape Town weather. When I catch you, when I catch you, uh, you'll pay. You will pay. Yo, guys, let me go. Um, baby, I'm out. Love you. Ah? Huh? No, I'm not changing. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm doing my wife's outfit of the day. Even though she's late. She's always late. <laughs> so, the dress is forever new. The shoes she in. The bag we bought it on on the street market in Bali. And the shades are Versace. Show them on the side. And the hair. Um infinity hair. I'm gonna put I'm I'm gonna tell them about it though. Okay, infinity. Okay. So let's do the full view. She's a bit small. <laughs> 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 she in a 
I'm wearing them like this. I don't care. Feeling good, looking good, ready for tonight. Mm. All these ladies out here looking all so right. Cause it's that kind of night. Have fun and free your mind No drama tonight, time to unwind Cause it's that kind of night You ready? Yeah Only good vibes here, everybody's living it up Everybody's out living it up It's all love in the room, bartender, fill me up I need a refill I came to groove, make a move, somebody's here in the same mood Yeah so thank you, Megan, for putting us through the paces, but also for reminding us to be still. It's okay to be in a season of stillness and just check in with yourself because sometimes we don't do that, you know, as creators, as moms, as, as people, as women in this space, we don't take a moment to be like, you know, you know, you know, you know, Okay guys, so I moved uh, angles. I hope this angle is a bit brighter. I told you Moskut, I'm doing the kitchen drawer. The kitchen drawers, the kitchen cabinets, and also organizing the fridge. So I'm gonna start by unboxing. I am going to be unboxing uh, stuff that I bought from at home. Stuff that I bought at um, Pep Home. Take a lot and as well as superbalist but they're in one box so the first thing that i got are these glass bottles <sighs> uh -uh. Mm -mm. let me go to the office it's it's not working here it is not working because what is this what is this uh -uh. let me change spots okay guys so i moved to the office and i feel like it's a little bit better in terms of lighting this side because that side does the sun and um this side is no sun at least i can control the lighting so i was showing you this i got this on uh take a lot yes this is much better i got this on take a lot let me open it i got this on take a lot and I've been seeing these things on... Is my lighting too bright? Sana, what's happening to me today? Hi, hi, hi. Is that better? Anyway, <laughs> I think that's better. I'm sorry, guys. So I got this on Check A Lot. These are one liter um, bottles. Then I've seen them on Instagram and I always wanted to try them when people are, are organizing their fridges and they use these things i don't remember the price i'm gonna put the price here uh, but i bought a few of these i oh, know i didn't buy a few i bought two of these um i'm gonna leave a link in the description box the ones i bought got reviews that they don't leak and the other cheaper ones have um the reviews say they leak uh so this one it got a 4.8 out of 5 star which everyone was really really happy with it so just be careful if you choose to uh, buy a similar item and then the second item i got is this spice tray um i'm also gonna put a price here i don't remember how much it was um i got a few of this i'm gonna use them to organize my spices And this I bought on Superblist. Guys, I am working with Superblist. When you're buying stuff on, on Superblist, anything you're buying, a smear kettle, your foundation, um, deodorant, a shirt, pants, jeans, anything you want to buy, Nike sneakers, Adidas sneakers, Diesel sneakers, use my discount code. I'm going to put it here here use my discount code sinegoku20 and you'll got you'll get 20 percent off your purchase with my discount code you can get 20 percent off everything on superblist except h&m the h&m brand if i catch you if i catch you paying full price on superblist if i catch you buying a rug 
full price on Superbilist. If I catch you buying a sneaker, full price on Superbilist. If I catch you buying Aldo Hills, full price on Superbilist, we're gonna have a problem when I catch you, okay? Use my discount code. All right, so I bought this on Superbilist. I wanted to buy them on Shein. I wanted to buy this. This is a dish. Um, um, what do you call it? Dish. Dish stand. I'm not sure if you can see over there. I hope you guys can see. So it's a dish stand. I'm gonna put the price here again. Um, Superbly was having a 60% off sale. I was like, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna buy on she in I'll just buy them. So I got a few of these And yeah, that's all that I got from take a lot Now we are moving over to pep home thumbnail <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I bought at pep home was this fridge drawer and It was going for a hundred and forty rands. Oh, here's the price so they go for 140 rands. Let me remove this. As you can see, it's a just a sheer drawer. I'm going to be putting my, uh, what you might call, I'm going to be putting my green peppers in here and stuff like that. But you guys will see, I think I bought about three of these, I'm not sure. And then the next one I got was this round storage bin. This is the price let's move on to the last shop which is at home okay guys so the first item i got from at home is this acrylic tray um i'm not sure if it's nice i'm not sure if i like it uh but i definitely loved the size this is the biggest tray i have in the house the cream one is also quite big but not like this like this is big big um this is the price. Okay, I can't even show you the price. The price is 480 rands for a plastic. I'm side eyeing you at home. And then I got another fridge drawer from at home, similar to the one that I got um, at Pep Home. What I love about this one, it has a division. Look, so you can divide it. So I can put like onions on the other side and peppers on the other side, like carrots on the other side and then green beans on the other side. I wanted to buy two of these, but there was only one left. I'll check a different at home. Uh, but yeah, there was only one, but I'm obsessed with this, honestly. Then lastly, at home, I didn't buy a lot of stuff at home because we are Dura. kids i'm gonna vlog with them uh so this is the silicone grip that i got from at home so i lost my uh that glove that you put in when i was uh moving and i didn't buy another glove because i hated how dirty it got like, <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> can't help it <laughs> um so i bought two of this and the price on this is a hundred and twenty bucks so yeah guys that's all the stuff that i've got now for the part that i dread the part that i don't want to show you but i feel like i won't be fair if i don't show you the before it's really messy i'm really embarrassed don't say anything, just keep quiet, judge, side eye, and just keep quiet. We keep it moving. Let me go show you my drawers, my fridge, and the worst part, my pantry. <laughs> I'm, let me just go. Okay, the first part I want to show you is uh, my pantry. It's a cupboard, but I call it my pantry, and... Ah! it's a mess oh my god oh my 
God. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Guys, it's very, very bad. I warned you. I warned you like it's bad, 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 bad. Oh. So we just threw everything in here when we moved. And when I say threw everything, we threw, literally threw everything in here. So this is the first part that I'm going to be cleaning. Disgusting. Let's move on to the fridge. Knock, knock. <laughs> so this is the second part that we are going to be cleaning. I feel like, yeah, my fridge is not, um, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, but yeah, this is the second part that we're going to be doing. I'm not going to do this side. This side, it's just um, the frozen side. I'm not going to sort this. It's all born and uh, but this part I'm definitely going to be doing with you guys Shame it's not bad It's not, it's not neat but it's not bad guys And it, at least we not close because we just did the groceries It was literally, literally empty It was literally empty And then ah! Another nightmare <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Yo, this <laughs> I was never wait. I need to see you guys. <laughs> guys, I was never ever ever this girl. It's the move. Okay? Moving is stressful, guys. Unpacking is stressful. And I was unpacking and then decorating at the same time new furniture. I'm out. Like guys, I I I I apologize for this it oh my god let's move on <laughs> oh my god i have no words honestly i have no words no comment um kuningi guys kuningi because these things were those things i was showing you I bought them like three months ago. Never used them. Um, what's happening here? Um, yeah, so these are some of the dishes. And then these are my wedding gifts that I got. I never used them. Packed them away for the new house. Now that we are at the new house, definitely need to unbox them and then start using them. Here, this is the kettle that Komoto bought me. It's not even, this is empty. I don't even know why I'm keeping this box. I don't even know, honestly. Um, yeah, another mess. And then, here, I don't even know what's happening. I, I don't know. It's spoons and whatever. Um, here, it's where I keep my trays. I need to organize this guy in a corner. This is the pen that Manel bought me. It's a um, I got this as a wedding gift from Manel. If you haven't watched my wedding gift unboxing video, I'm gonna link it below um, so you can go watch it. I'm not using it because I want to buy the other pots until they are all together. But I don't have money for that. Maybe next year. Kuningi, kuningi, and it gets kuningi here. Uh, but I am ready for the challenge. I hope you guys find a little bit of inspiration to organize um, your kitchen as well at the end of the video. And yeah, let's do this. Let's clean. I would say we were good together.
the worst is the pain when you pronounce my name. And you say, Glory, I please. Don't cry for me. Oh, Glory, I please. Don't cry for me. Yeah. I can hurt you like you hurt me.
My rogo is tabukile. I'm so hurt. And that's because I abuse it. Anyway, this is the first drawer. Um, I got this as a wedding gift from Umzala Uriya, my cousin. Um, she bought me this and I've never used it. Opened it for the first time um, when I was doing this drawer. Um, I found that these were six of them so the other one is in the dishwasher but yeah i'm happy i had to get rid of the gold spoons that i had because my husband hates them uti and i can't eat with gold spoons so number guys guys and then here i packed all i used to put this if there's left over leftover rice salads and what what i use this i used to have two of these I can't find the other one. I like I've lost so many things. I can't find the lead. Evalala. I can't find the spoon. But I'm sure the more I tidy up, um maybe they'll appear. But really moving I just lost I lost a lot of stuff. But yeah. And then on this drawer I am using it to put in this is a cake holder. I have um another one, but it's in the dishwasher now and then i'm using to put all the jugs um okay can you focus yeah it's quite empty i don't know what else i can put in here but i'm sure i'll figure it out as time goes by my favorite drawer oh my god <laughs> I love love this drawer so much i didn't think it would come out so perfect more especially because i didn't use the containers and i know a lot of people buy like special containers and then you put a plug on it i was like i am not doing that i'm not going to be able to maintain that it's better i just get uh, these and then when i buy i buy refills but i'm sure you guys let me show you but i'm sure you know the refills so these are the refills so moving on in future i'm just gonna buy these so this is sticks and chops spice and then here's sticks and chops so my pella i just refill with these ones instead of buying the whole bottle all over again so yeah that's my method i'm gonna put this here for now and here i've decided to put all my cookbooks this side um i didn't know where to put this this is when you take off like a hot stove of the a hot pot of the stove and you put it on this so that you don't burn your uh, kitchen countertops i just placed it in here i really didn't know where to put it and then these are my tablecloths these are new uh, i bought them when i was doing groceries but i feel like it's always nice to have like brand new uh mm, tablecloths this is a book holder for when i am cooking let me show you quickly so you're cooking so you can put your book like this you can open up the page and you can put your book sun using one hand let my husband he went out and then you can put the book like this so you can easily refer to um your recipes so i'm putting it in here together with the together with the cookbooks in case i need it and the next one let's make it nice and neat yes and in here is all my baking stuff <laughs> i've baked once ever since i bought that thing that i'm gonna bake yeah 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 I bought uh this, this is still new i was gonna learn how to make cheesecake yeah 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 but yeah this is where i'm putting all my baking stuff i know a grater is not part of baking but i just placed it in here and then in here i'm sure you saw this is where i'm putting all the pots and um my pens i made breakfast for my husband so some of the pens are in the dishwasher 
and then in here is all i'm putting top part is my smeg stuff keeping all the accessories in here this is also smeg i think it's part of um it goes with this one when you're making blending something but you can use it and then here i'm putting all nitini i don't know what what's the english word i'm not gadgets electronic stuff yeah this is where i'm putting all my electronic um things that i'm going to need what else um in here this is where i put all my trays uh, i got these white things from a pep home i'm putting all my trays i'm putting all my um chopping boards and 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 I think this was just genius because before i used to stack them on top and when i have to take something at the bottom i have to take everything out and it was a lot so now if i just want a tray i just take it out and then when i'm done using it i just put it back without disturbing the other stuff these are table things when you're eating you can put on top and then when we're done eating i just put them back here genius like this was genius of me i've never seen this anywhere i just thought of it and it worked <laughs> and then obviously you know this part this is my bean this is where i keep all my plastics i didn't sort out but i sell a lot of stuff so bubble wraps what what i'm not even packing this i'm not lying to you but yeah i put my bubble wrap if i'm going to buy food my checkers plastics everything i put in here this is the oven i'm gonna pass that i didn't know what to put in here but i want to put things that we use in the house a lot um car keys when you're going out um i don't want to put a table or anything over there but if the car keys are here you put them here this is for when i'm cooking i don't know where to put this either maybe i can put this in here with this yeah yeah and then batteries for my microphone like i want to make this a handy drawer if you need a charger quickly if you need to light the candle quickly if you need the car keys if you need the house keys i'm asked guys but i'll figure it out it's empty for now and then this i'm using as storage for um my tissue and i love this i buy this they're on sale currently at checkers when you buy two i don't know for how much but I just stocked up because I know myself that I abuse them a lot. Uh, this is a veggie drawer. I didn't clean it. I didn't start there. I'm going to do it when I'm doing the fridge. I'll show you guys when I'm doing the fridge. But it's not it's not sorted. And we're done. 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 Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> guys um i'm going to do the fridge and the pantry in the next vlog um don't feel like i forgot or stuff like that this is a um it's it's a long vlog already i'm, I'm sure it's gonna be like an hour so i'm just gonna save for the i'm gonna save the fridge for maybe episode two episode three and then maybe the pantry we can do it in episode four four so that you guys get like um three vlogs per week since it's vlogtober but yeah i didn't forget i promise i promise i promise hey guys uh i'm done for the day i'm really really tired but i thought i should just uh, close off this vlog before i go and rest really really enjoyed this vlog especially the cleaning and organizing our part really enjoyed uh freshening up my space cleaning up my space and as i was cleaning now i was thinking god is so good and god is so faithful that i even have a house to clean and i felt so blessed like god positioned everything for me so perfectly and he aligned everything me everything for me so perfectly you know um, 10 years ago if you told me this if you put showed me the life i'm living now i was gonna go like shut up who me I'm, I'm literally struggling right now I, i'm not staying in a suburb in cape town 10 minutes away from the beach i am not making 50k plus a month like if you told me that i was like ah you're playing with me i'm not I, i'm driving a Benz. 
I don't have visitors' bags. I bought it. <laughs> you lying? I'm married to the love of my life. Are you serious? <laughs> if you told me that 10 years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. So I guess my message to you is above all, don't give up on God. Don't feel like I'm praying for a husband. I am praying for children. I'm praying for a job. I'm praying for things to go right in my life and God doesn't hear me. He hears you. It's just not your season yet. It is just not your season yet. Um, life, I've seen it with myself, really life works with seasons. If it's not your time, nothing's gonna happen. It's not time. Um, I'm gonna make a practical example. I'm gonna use a friend of mine, Maneo. Let's say you're praying for marriage and you are me and Manel. I didn't know her back then, but I'm just going to use her because you guys know her. And so I'm friends with Manel back from back, 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 back. Maybe we met at Varsity. Then quickly after Varsity, Manel gets married. In her early 20s, she gets married. We're the same age. She starts having kids. She starts, you know, things start happening for her. Do you not married? You don't even have a steady boyfriend. <laughs> They're hurting you left, left, right, and center. It's not working out. Your job is not, you're not excelling there. You're struggling there too. Uh, finances are not adding up. Like it's tough. And then you're just watching your friend Uti. How come things are working out, so her, out, out for her so early in her life and nothing's happening in my life? It's because it's not your season. It is not your time to bust me trust me uh, my things only started happening in my 30s and when they happened it was like heaven open and things were like like i was showered abundantly my youtube picked up uh me and my husband got married uh bought myself a mystery spencer resigned from my job traveled for a month i did two countries bali we did also singapore it was like I'm getting luxury bags. I'm living like I'm thinking all at once, though, God. All at once. I'm not complaining, but all at once. Then I realized, Guti, it's my season. Had I compared myself to my peers or hated them or judged them or didn't rejoice with them, Guti, congratulations, friends. I'm so proud of you. Oh my God, I've supported them. Go to their weddings when they're collecting their cars, you're there taking pictures. When they are celebrating their promotions, you're there buying gifts. Congratulations. Buying a gift with your last 20 rand. <laughs> I want some. <laughs> a friend of mine was having a baby. I wasn't working. Um, I had graduated, but I didn't have a job. Uh, I was staying at home. I had to leave Pretoria where I was staying and then go back home and look for a job at home. Now this friend of mine is having a baby shower. All my varsity friends are going. We made it varsity. I asked my mom. My mom gave me like a hundred rand to buy it. Go I went to Pep guys. My chain I like in You know what Pep you can go to like a a bunch of stuff and i wrapped them asked for taxi money took a taxi to pretoria <laughs> got to pretoria attended the baby shower it was beautiful we had fun i was genuinely happy for her but i had nothing and then she had a job she had a car like things were really happy for her she even had a partner she wasn't married but she was in a steady relationship did the um, baby shower took a taxi went back home and when i got home i was like Yo, <laughs> I think I was 23, 24, I don't remember, but I was like, flip, I'm shaking my foot. God, God saw me, God saw me, I was like, don't worry, your husband is coming, your car is coming, your job is coming, all that I have in store for you. Yes, but it's not your time. It's not your season and I'm gonna give them to you now and he didn't Before I get emotional, I'm getting cherry, you know me. I don't cry in front of the camera. I'm not that type I don't like it. It's not cute But yeah, my message for you is oh my god, it's on 12 minutes. My message for you is um, Wait for your season. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on your dreams um, Keep praying stay strong your time is coming. I promise all will be well
okay let me say goodbye if you watched this video till the end please leave me a heart in the comment section to let me know that you watched the video okay guys i love you so much i appreciate you guys so much and i'll definitely see you in episode three of vlogtober checking out bye